In this video, we're going to be talking about financial services cloud relationships, the relationship map, and this lightning component or section that's included in financial services cloud. Relationship map in Salesforce is to be able to connect people in a visual way to understand where their household is, which is a grouping of people under a specific entity, such as a husband and a wife, related accounts, so how this person account is related to other accounts, such as ABC Legal as their attorney, and or how they're related to other contacts. So maybe Scott Adams is a friend. <laughs> this demo looks like he's a parent as well. <clears throat> you can relabel these uh, if you're using person accounts. So this would be like related entities or related uh, organization accounts. This would be related person accounts. But it connects, again, a household or groups, this person account into like a home then related accounts would be any business entities or formations that, uh, that they're related to, and then contacts would be people. Uh, also, the nice part about this is not just giving you this visual map. People can easily add additional entities, contact relationships, or let's say they had a child or um, a grandfather living with them. They could add them to their household. But the benefit of this is when you go to any of these other relationships, it does create a reciprocal. So if we go to Timothy Johnson, we go to his relationship map, you'll see that he's part of that Claire Johnson household. Let's go back to Claire. And then down below, you'll see that there is a relationship summary here. So you can have a lot of great information in here. We don't have a whole lot of data in this example. But as far as um, the age, phone, email, you know, you get a, a good summary of that household. There also is some great roll-up functions if you're using financial accounts in Salesforce, wallet share, last interaction, next interaction. These will put dates here. And then you'll see the type of interactions that have happened uh, with them as well. Uh, events, tasks, calls, and emails. But how do you get those to roll up? For that, you go to the edit group or when you're establishing a group member, you'll get these options. So you can add members of the group here. So you can see Claire and Timothy. Uh, it should probably be something else, but you can certainly change these. Or you can add multiple uh, roles. And then you can choose what activities or objects to roll up. So here you can choose whether tasks, events, financial accounts, assets, liabilities, financial goals, referrals, and opportunities. When you have a household, you can only have one primary member so you need a primary member, but then you can also designate their primary group. It's also important to know that someone can be part of multiple groups. So let's say Claire Johnson takes care of her father, Scott Adams, financial information. Well, she can also be added to his group, and that just would not be her primary group. You can also see other uh, relationships. So if you want to add uh, more relationships here, as you can see, the other um, relationships between other accounts or other people are designated here as well and you can add additional in this screen. And that is an overall summary of financial service cloud relationship 